pretty dead this morning. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna sit here for a while today. I'm definitely not gonna leave this stand here though. When I get down, I'll, I'll probably end up doing a little scouting. See if I can't figure figure out what's going on. So then I'll just have a little cup of jello. <laughs> a little cup of jello. Mm. This day's so hot. I'll tell you what, I'm not sponsored. But these thermos things are amazing. I'm 31 years old and I've never used one until this year. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I got that nice pour over. Mm. Mm. Well, guys, uh, this is something a little interesting while it's slow here. Um, for all you DIYers, I'll show you my uh, little filming setup I got here. I have the big cameras and uh, the camera arms and all that stuff I used to use. I don't like using it anymore. Um, it's a lot to lug into the woods. And honestly, the quality isn't that much different, especially for YouTube. Now, if you're making a TV show or whatever, I understand it, but I'm making YouTube videos. And using my phone, honestly, it's like not that much different. The only difference I've really noticed is the optical zoom, being able to zoom in further on these deer and get like better close-ups. But with the phone, that I'm using, I'm using a Samsung uh, Galaxy S20 Plus, I believe. Um, man, anything within 40, 50 yards, you know, I can zoom in uh, five, six times, and like, it's it looks really good. So, there's only been maybe two or three times this year where I wish I had more zoom, but to get the story across and show what I wanna show, this phone is fine, this is all I need to carry into the woods with me. So what I ended up doing was taking the Joby phone mount off of the like action uh, pod and attaching it to this old camera mount I have. Uh, it's worked out pretty well for me. Um, it's really light, really small. I just got to carry in one strap um, to hold it to the tree. <clears throat> and the mount I got came with this little swivel thing. And uh, I just used some spacers and a bolt and just attached it. And with this little swivel, I can kind of bend it whichever way I want. Um, and I got this whole arm to work with. It's just a pretty cool little setup. And it's so tiny. Um, and you're carrying in your phone anyways. So, you know, why not? I just thought that was a pretty cool little uh, MacGyver rig that I made up. So... Um, if you guys have any questions about it, let me know, but uh, like I said, it's worked really well for me so far. These woods are dead. Now I feel like I haven't, if I had to critique my last week of hunting, which I get to do because I go back and I edit everything so I see everything I've done and I'm like oh, why did I do that oh that doesn't make sense but I feel like I've been overthinking and not being patient with that said I think I'm going to do the same thing and move I am at the Frank farm right now, headed back to the north end.
was literally bedded like right there. I walked right up on him. <laughs> huh. He was like so hesitant to like leave. There he goes. Now he's running across the field. He was so like hesitant to leave. I almost think like maybe he's here because there's a doe bedded in here or something. Look at this. There's deer running around all over the place. There must be a doe. That's a shooter right there. He stepped out in the middle of the field and he was at like 60 yards but he's like staring right at me perfectly broadside I could have flung an arrow but I'm not that desperate oh. but he took off running um, to the southeast and there's a real good bedding thicket down there, so I ran around and got back up in there and just kind of sat for about 15 minutes, but he never showed. I thought maybe he would come poking around in there. Hmm. I don't know. Sticking with the plan. Hey, guys. What's up? Uh, finally got set up. Here for the evening, it's about 1 45, 2 o'clock, something like that. Got yeah, bumped two different bucks walking in. That one bigger buck, I'm pretty sure that was that big 10 pointer that uh, I saw back on the second. Um, he's a good looking deer, he looks big when you first look at him, but looking at the video and getting a really good look at him. Um, He's definitely three and a half year old, and he is not, uh, he's not as big as he looks. He's pretty tall, but he's got really short main beams. Um, beautiful deer, though. Really is.
That's cool. There's a little action for us. Hell yeah. I didn't even realize it. There's a scrape right there. It's pretty fresh too. 